Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at eight o'clock Mountain Time to show you the junk that we have purchased throughout the week. We tell you what we paid for it, what we're gonna sell it for, and then we usually paint some stuff. And that's just kind of how it goes. So if you want to shop along, just go to jamierayvintage.com. Did you say eight or eight thirty? Did I say eight thirty? I think you said eight. I'm at eight thirty. Um, but shop along. <laughs> shop along at jamierayvintage.com. Just click Saturday thrift haul. Caitlin is on here dropping links, so it's live. Um, it's live. If you have the app, you just got the notification because I got it saying that the thrift haul items were live and ready to go. I haven't got the text, so I don't know if our text service is still not working. But uh, no, uh, the stream just got added, so Caitlin got to get. Oh, I didn't. I don't know how that works. I, I clearly technology is not my thing, but we're super excited. We have some fun things. Actually, a few things from my own personal collection. So I'm trying to. You know, shake a few things before we go on our trip next week to She France. always finds some things. She's like, I got to keep this. I there are keep a few this. things every this trip. This one's for me. <laughs> but, in, you know, I got to pass things along too. So super excited to be here. Let's show them what we have. All right. First item of the day. It's a Christmas tin. We got it for a dollar <gasps> from the thrift came. store. It's going to be nine ninety five, And this one's not getting painted. It's not getting decoupaged. It already looks like I might have decoupaged it with some, some of our JRV decoupage paper. It's kind of got a vintage theme. And I believe it originally came from Pick and Save back in the day. Before Maybe. it was, what is Pick and Save now? What's it called? Big Lots? Big Lots. But it used to be Pick and Save. So good little Christmas tin. It does, I must disclaim, it does have like a slight little ding here, but it doesn't detract from the amazing lid <laughs> from the gloriousness that is that box or tin we've had a very long day we had two football games both of which my boys won but they were they're cool. both elimination games if both. Frederick didn't win his game then they didn't go to the playoffs because they were three and four and they needed to be four and four to go to the playoffs and if Jack didn't win his game his game was a playoff game they it's single elimination so we're like Football drain. Yeah, we had a little dinner party <laughs> over here tonight with some people from church, and Zeb bought a cow. So it's just been a really full day. But I'll we're super excited. You, to be I'll here. show you a picture of Butter. We'll show you the cow later. Just a little bit. She's a sweetheart, and we'll oh. talk about her more and why we got her. Zeb, is the tin not on there? I thought you found her. No, I have I the, found tin the tin on there. Yeah. Caitlin says she couldn't Did find it. Did not get drafted. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to show him this while you figure that out. Okay. We love these pressed tin box vase situations. They look amazing painted up. This did yellow. Did you delete it? No, I did not delete it. I had a price on it, so it must have been there. This yellow and black is okay, but we will most definitely be painting it up and giving it more of a French country vibe. I'm not saying yellow can't be French country, but it would be white waxed and then dark waxed and the situation on that if it were yellow That's instead fair. of the dark it wouldn't be this heavy caitlin i just made the tin active i don't know why it didn't so this was three dollars oh, i can't read my own writing you should be able to find it now caitlin sorry i think this is 1995. let's see good luck i had to write in silver it was the only pen i could find oh gosh uh 1895 18 or 1995 1495 that's a, that's a I thought 1995 was a lot but I was like Ooh. yeah me too I was like but I'm I was with it. 1495 we're gonna paint it up and we're gonna get to some painting tonight because we don't have a huge haul Jamie only had time to go to one store and I was wrapping up personal taxes now we're all done with taxes <laughs> Mm, I mean, are we ever done? There's all I mean, there's the sales year. tax, there's quarterly tax, there's payroll tax. There's the uh, text for the thrift haul I got out. So, all right, this is a lamp. Shade. It's not actually a bowl. Not so actually disclaimer. a bowl, but it does look really good as a bowl. It was three dollars. It's like a fun milk glass. Um, selling it for twelve ninety five. We like to like glue these to things or put things in them and just as it is I'm trying to find some floral i think i spot some over there without the bottom coming in you don't even have to put a bottom he's going to show it. you how to use this so i just put fake flowers if you wanted to put real flowers in it then i would just use like a little cup and put it inside with water um but a lot of people overlook this because they're lampshades but they really do just look like a really cool milk glass bowl and we paid three dollars and we're gonna sell it for 12.95 and zeb's gonna show you how you can make it look pretty oh, oh my goodness look at that a little zhuzhy. 
So no bottom in it. It's a vase or a uh, not a vase. It's a. Because your mic shape. seems low. I don't know, Rob. It's Let on, me double check. It's on normal, so it's let's make sure it's shade, not muted. But is know. is yours on? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> nope. I'm muted. Thank you, Rob. Nope. Nope. Now we're both muted. Yeah. Now we're both muted. Your mic seems low. There you go. You're good to go now. All right. It's but it says your mic. Oh. oh. What does Odelia say? Is Odelia on here? Odelia is at Lagoon with the boys and with Cooper, who is her boyfriend. Odelia says he's redoing the basement for, for her. Is that really happening, Odelia? I thought that was going to be the playroom. Um, I mean, if she needs it to be hers, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how Let's that goes, Odelia. To the playroom. Everybody's just saying, hey. All right, we're going to move on. I really love this. It was $3. I don't see a price on it. So it's in, there, in here. It's stuffed in the top. $24.95. Um, the, the bucket alone, I'd probably sell for like $15 plus. Dollars, but the greenery in here is really good. The roses are super pretty. And so it's $24.95. They've got like a really organic kind of floppy yeah, this look one. to them. Yeah. That one came off. I'm trying to find where it could. Oh, I'll, I'll connect it. It sticks right here. I'm going to do it. You're going to fix it? It's done. Fixed. I love it. I love the way that the like the floral hangs. I like the coloring. I like the patina. Because roses, the when they bloom like this, and they got like a billion buds on them, they do get heavy and droopy. It's very organic. It's good. It said, Cooper, are you Julia's boyfriend? I just have to say that because I put a picture the other day inside. Some people that haven't followed us very long. Apparently I thought Cooper was our child and they were siblings. He does have, you know, I'm from Scandinavian descent. He's from Scandinavian descent. Jamie is from England, which could probably be pretty close to Scandinavian descent. You know, he fits right in the family. <laughs> but they actually don't really look alike. They just have blonde hair no. and blue eyes. But they both have really big smiles mm -hmm. and they're really photogenic. So there's that. Cooper Cooper was a little sad that everybody thought that he looked like the older brother. Her, her brother. So I just have to disclaimer, <laughs> Odelia and Cooper, Odelia's boyfriend, are at Lagoon with our little boys because we had a dinner party. So I was like, take the boys and Cooper and go to Lagoon and go eat dinner. All right. This little organizer, these are porcelain with like gold on them. They're amazing. This says letter. This says bills. This one says miscellaneous. The miscellaneous one will get fullest to fastest with all kinds of little random things. But are we repainting this or no, just? No, I love it's very cottage core. Yeah, I love that the um, labels are ceramic and they appear. While I'm not positive to be hand painted, they're like a little bit imperfect. I think you have us up too bright. I'm not sure people. Can I can. Tone I can tone it back. Yeah, tone it back a little. So bit. this was two dollars. We're selling it for twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, I could paint it, but I think it's super cool. Yeah, it looks to me, or maybe they're not, it's not hand painted, but I love the ceramic. Are they ceramic? Maybe it's plastic. I don't know. They're really cool. Okay. Oh, there we go. Whatever they are. This is on manual, not auto, and I had, a, I had the lighting all jacked up. I hope the basement doesn't have a separate door. No. It barely has a window. That's why I'm not sure I want to put a kid down there. That has a window. That's, I, what I might do is actually... So I could put a separate entrance over there where the window is. I can just use that as a door frame and then use my fun little tractor that I have to dig that out and put a staircase in there. That's right by where the gas meter is, right by the, with all the pool stuff. What does that mean? It means I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it'll have an interior entrance. All right, so where's, oh, the price is inside of the bucket. So this is like a chippy enamel bucket. It doesn't have a handle on it, but it is really good and aged. It was $2 and we're selling it for $19.95. I actually really love this. The handle's missing, but love the, uh, it's like drippy, like someone like dripped it on there, splattered it a little. Tina, I see your message. I don't know about the installment plan. I just know that it's on there. It's like a separate app, so we don't have control over that. Yeah, we don't run that at all. That's done through the Shopify, which is our web host. Okay, these are $28.95. Jamie picked them up. Were they were they like a $10 bundle? How much were these, Jamie? What? 
This looks like a yard sale sticker. No, they were not $10. They were like $4 each, $4 each. $4 each. We're going to probably get to these tonight, probably paint these frames, and then we're going to do some uh, molds. probably molds on here and build like a scene and probably copper or gold patina of some sort. I don't think I'm copper patina. They were $4 each. There's the yeah, price. I don't think, um, I think we'll just regular paint them, but I love it when I can find like basic crafts, like these are like ready to be crafted, but at the thrift store, because if I were to buy this like at Hobby Lobby, I think it'd be like 20 bucks. Yeah, this, this piece of wood already assembled in the frame with the beadboard it would be more than we wanted to pay. Kim says, I was going to say you look tired tonight. I actually also, Kim, have not touched my makeup since seven o'clock this morning. So typically when we film, I go in there and I like powder my face because the camera is not my friend when I don't, but I did not do that tonight. So I'm actually no more tired than normal. I just looked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who wants a bunt cake right it's a now? Like right this it's a minute, cake. who needs a bunt cake? This is Pampered Chef. Um, just their uh, their typical stoneware bunt cake. It's not their typical. It's their very special Made heritage. Made in the USA. Okay, special heritage. It, it does say family heritage. I knew that. Um, <laughs> it was $3. We can't keep um, the Pampered Chef stoneware stuff in stock. If we find it in the thrift store, it doesn't matter what it is, what shape, what it was for. I buy it because someone either had it or they can't find it anymore. It's discontinued or we're cheaper than buying it new. So they so buy it. $19.95. And I actually saw these as much as $50. This one has a few scuffs, but it has not been used. Anybody that's used Pampered Chef knows that once you start using it, it gets brown on the inside. So if, when you get this, you definitely have to season it. Make sure you put lots cakes. of oils and fats in it to, so that way the cake comes out. But yeah, somebody had this and it just kicked around in their um, pantry and never got used. So hopefully somebody wants to make bunt cake. So I was like, does anybody make bunt cakes anymore? I'm like, lots of people make bunt cakes. They are delicious. Nothing right. bunt cake. It's a cake shop down the street from us that True makes that. delicious bunt cakes. Not too shabby. Patty says, I have that bunt pan. Oh, Les says I look perfect. That's why right. you're my favorite, Les. So this may be, we, we debated on whether to sell this or not. It's from England. It's got tons of cracking and and the where the glazing is getting all cracked, the crazing. It's Ironstone. It's uh, Swinnerton's from Staffordshire, England. And Is it Staffordshire or Staffordshire? No, don't say it's Shire. Don't do it. Staffordshire. You're so proper. It had to be repaired. So it didn't make it back. It has some authentic battle damage, battle damage. I wasn't sure I was going to sell it because I really like it. But like I said, I can't keep all the things. I must sell some things so I can buy new things. I couldn't find that little tiny chip. Zeb said. I uh, did glue it up really, really well. So it's like sturdy. I can hold it. But it does have the chip. I think it would be an amazing planter. Everybody says it's a chamber pot. I don't know. Did they make ironstone chamber pots? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem. It seems like the stamp on the bottom doesn't look old enough for it to be a chamber pot, because, yeah, like chamber pots were a thing a long time ago, and that stamp looks like early 1900s. Not like, I don't. It could have been. I don't know. But it hasn't been a chamber pot for a long well, it's, time. It's really, it's really cool. good. And we were super sad when it was broken. I've had it here for months. I paid like cool. five pounds for it when we were in England. And we we're selling it for how much? We we're selling it for? Oh. For $34.95. Had it arrived alive, it would have been probably 100 or more. <gasps> Silly. Mary says it's a Texas teacup. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas. That is a true story. I mean, trying to drive across Texas is like driving across four countries. <laughs> they did make ironstone chamber pots. I just don't think it's a chamber pot. Brenda Klomp says it's a chamber pot. And right. Brenda knows her stuff. We actually, Brenda, we met somebody um, that sells at Gypsy Emporium. One of our followers came in. I can't remember her name now. But she, it's been too many football games since she came. But she was in the shop a couple days ago. And she sells it was Gypsy yesterday. And no, it was a couple no, days ago. Thursday. Oh. Listen, I don't know. I don't know what day it was. But anyways, I was like, do you know Brenda? But apparently lots of people sell at Gypsy Emporium. <laughs> do, you, do you know what the, you priced this? Because... Oh, the Santa 1995 and the item has sold. I have okay. zero clue what I paid for it. I've had it in my own personal stash. 
Told you I was gonna let I, I was gonna let a few things go. Store, I probably would have spent three to four dollars on it. Les says it is a chamber pot. She has six of them. Oh, Les. And Les should know. Okay, we have this chicken cutting board situation. It was a dollar. Um, needs a little sanding right up here. We're gonna sand it and um, oil it. And that's it. I like the shape. I actually want it's Zeb a, to make a template because our chicken cutting board doesn't look like this one. No, ours is, I think I have the, some in the garage I could show them, but ours is a little bigger, but I like the shape on this. And this is, looks like a shop project. Looks like they planed down a two by four to about an inch, maybe an inch and an eighth. But great shape on it. It was a dollar. We're selling it for $19.95 after we do the sanding and oil it up. We'll use hemp oil so it'll be food safe. All right, another item from Jamie's private collection. Uh, <laughs> I actually got that for zero dollars. I have a friend who is in Tennessee who is a picker, and I buy a lot of things from her warehouse, and she always sends me extra things. And she gave this to me when we moved here two years ago, almost. It'll be two years in January. And I legit have never – I only have so much display space, and it's just not been displayed, so I thought I'm going to sell it for $26.95. It's a little tarnished. But it says cake on this little brass badge up here. And it still seals up pretty good. Like It is vintage because um, if you pull it up, you can see the maker no stamped into the bottom. See like the font on that? Oh, yeah. Cleveland, Ohio, made in the USA. It's like Blopskoff. <laughs> no. But it is vintage. Maybe it's, it's supposed to go like that. No, no, no it goes the other way. Fit it in there, and it has sold. Whoop whoop! People are buying my junk. Yeah. It's a good day. It's All right, there. it's my junk dance. Buy my junk. Buy my junk, and I don't mean junk in a bad way. I mean junk in a cool way. All right, if drip, if dri if a drippy outfit can mean a cool outfit, I don't think they say dripping. They do say drip. You're dripping. No, but not. Your drip? Just what do they say? Just drip. I don't know. But if that's Ask the case. Eliza. She's the aficionado. If you can say somebody's cool, but they're not actually cold, then I can say things are junk, but not actually bad. Right? I've gone to saying that looks neat. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's messy and it's neat? Then I like it. Good job. Zeb purchased this Eiffel Tower. Ironically, we have some smaller ones in the shop that we just came in. This one actually it's says... Paris in it, but he didn't know, and he bought this bigger one for seventy-five cents, and we're selling for three ninety-five, which is a really good deal. I think it's brass. It is brass. Or yeah, it's brass, probably about five inches. Yeah, it's a good size. It's fun. Um. Oh, Patricia got the cake tote. Woo, woo. Nice. Good job, Patricia. It's a good one. Okay, so I did a short video on this. We've been doing lots of shorts, and I'm going to tell you why. If you like the longer edited videos then I need you to go to our channel and I need you to watch the video that we just put up Friday because it's not getting very many views. But the shorts get lots of views, sometimes even millions of views, depending on the platform. Like we have a few that have gone viral on Facebook and TikTok. Rhetoric and I got like a 3 million view video. No, yours was 1.6. So you have some 3 million. The, people like the Zeb. But anyways, on this short video, I asked people if I should buy this. They said yes. We paid $10 for it. My plan is, it's not going to be on tonight's video because we have some other things we're going to work on, but my plan is to use this flat surface for molds and then do texture and then do a two-tone French country paint finish because we did that at Paint-a-Palooza, right? Was it Paint-a-Palooza? Yep. It was Monday. We did all of those thrifted items that we didn't get to painting the night, uh, the Saturday night. And we did those gold urns and mm -hmm. they sold super fast. So I think the same finish on there and it's going to be $89.95 once we make it over. It's going to be so good. I think I'm going to paint the, the lamp um, shade. Lamp shade. It's a little dingy. It needs like a, no, I guess that's right. Some hot glue and some dinge. Anyway, oh, here we go. Some paint. Up here it needs some hot glue. Yeah. You can use a new one. I would honestly sell just the lamp for $90, but I thought it does have a shade. So I'll paint it and then if somebody wants to keep it, they can. D Barb says, I have watched every single short and long video. I'm addicted. Deep, I don't doubt it because D Barb loves to hit that share button. And I see it. D Barb, we, we I post a video and D is like on it. Boom. So every share. time you share a video, I see who shares it because it comes across in my notifications. And I'm like, oh, thanks, guys. Maureen loved the video on stories of you and Zeb or you and Odelia cheering. Odelia was actually doing 
a day. It was so funny. I was sitting on the couch. Zeb was ironing um, towels because we had stenciled some towels and he was ironing them to heat set them. And Odelia was showing us her new dance because she got home from school. It had a good beat. And couldn't help it. Zeb was ironing and dancing and Odelia was over there showing us her new dance routine from Dance Company. It was good stuff. Are you going to show your stuff? You've been pulling on it. Show your stuff. Um, okay. So this, Zeb bought this, I don't know for how much. It's a 401 Pyrex dish. We're selling it for four ninety five. dollars You bought it for $1. Actually, it might have been 75 cents. It was at the new grand opening. Oh, okay. Somehow it just didn't get with the other thrift haul, so I finally got it listed. Um, and four ninety five for this cute little bowl. Is it Pyrex? I can't even remember. Everybody says I love the long and shorts. So we just did a collab with everybody that's in business coaching and the people that participated. If you go to our latest yes. video, you can look up the hashtag quick Christmas crafts, all one word spelled out with a hashtag, and it'll bring up all of their videos. So many great ideas in there for like really quick, just fast crafts to do for Christmas time. Yep. We did uh, some popsicle stick crafts. I actually have one video that's not on the playlist, but I still hashtagged it that way. So if you look up the hashtag on YouTube, quick Christmas crafts, you'll find all the videos and I will share probably tomorrow or Monday on Facebook. I just, Zeb edited that short for me. It's a long story, but because it's not on my phone, I can't put it on Facebook till he sends it to me. But and it didn't send right. So Deborah we says technical struggles. The collab videos were great. Does the patina rose book it hang and sit flat? It sits flat. Like it just, you could, I guess, I don't think you could hang it because it doesn't have a flat back, but the bucket does sit flat on the counter. All right. Thrift haul stuff. These were a dollar each. We're selling them for two ninety five dollars a piece. They're like little cement planters that have already been white waxed. I think they're just going to go to you as is. And then tell them about your plates. You've been okay. fiddling with those plates. So I bought these plates and I was like, we could put them in the camper because I'd like to have all blue enamel wire in the camper. I'm kind of obsessed. We have a bunch of it in the shop. It sells decently well. I think I like it more than everybody else. <laughs> um, and I've had these in the car. I'm like going to take them. But Zeb bought a new one-ton truck. And I said, well, if you got a new one-ton truck, I think we need a bigger camper now. So I don't want to We did try these. to go camping in it with the whole family. We and did. It was a tight squeeze. It's It, it worked. It was great. We put the Redrick toilet in worked. It. The shower is good, but Redrick was sleeping on the floor. No, Redrick oh, no. slept in the shed. He slept in the shed. Odelia the slept property. in my Jeep and then two kids. So we need a bigger, anyways, my point being, and I'm not going to put these in the camper because we're probably going to sell the camper before winter and then just buy a new camper that fits more people. We didn't spend a ton of money on the camper, so it's not really a big deal. We used it enough this summer that it was worth it, but yeah. these have to now sell. It was fabulous That's the whole when story. Jamie and I were hunting out of it. Yeah, it fits the two of us. So I'm going to sell these five plates for $19.95. And then if they don't sell, when we get a new camper, I'll just go shopping in the shop and I'll put them in my new camper. Either we way, to, I'm We need good. to find like an old Airstream and DIY it. Look at that. I'm tired. Okay, we have this, what, what did you call this? I lost this tag that says how much this was. Do you know? Leslie's making pinto beans. I, I think don't know. you called this uh, Jesus, Jesus and the with kids. The kids or children. Anyway, there's a little lamb over here. My sister brought it to me. Jesus is holding two children. And it's just a great little... Uh, cream, <laughs> cream Jesus and children. Cream Jesus 1995. And children. Oh, it was Caitlin, and it was free 99, as in free from Caitlin. All right. So Caitlin is also de-stashing, and so now we have this for 1995. We, we try to keep a few of these in the shop because, <laughs> especially this time of year, they sell well. Brenda says in the camper there's not so you want lightweight stuff she says there's nothing lighter than paper plates we, we do use paper plates but it's, it's like not eco-friendly and it's not cute like enamel so i when i do get my dream camper whatever that is it's gonna have enamel wear all right so this here i did i not get the price on here oh i did 22.95 is okay. what we're selling it for are you going to paint this copper i am so this is a nativity and it's like not painted it's just a bisque if that makes sense like it hasn't been finished so i'm going to paint it copper patina and then i haven't decided i'll either do, do white or dark wax i'm going to paint it tonight i probably won't wax it because i it like it to dry the way but this is going to look so cute copper so and then they'll be 19.95 all right these are these they look italian Maybe not. 
Caitlin says she just stashed her closet too. Her infusions are starting to work, meaning she's feeling good. <laughs> I got some closets to de-stash, Caitlin. All right, tell them about these because I don't know what happened to the price. I had um, they there. were $3 each, and I love when I can find multiples. They actually had five, but some of them were broken. So I only took the ones that were not broken. They might have like some little flea bites in them. Yeah, but I love they got some crazy. the cherub situation. They are authentic cherubs because there is a little bum crack right there, just on that one. And they all have it. Is that like a rule for cherubs that you know, have to have some up. cracking? I just made it up, but there, I just noticed the bum crack. Anyways, I feel like you could be in. A I think they're pretty. Chairs. I'm just gonna wipe them down and leave them as is, and then you can put like floral in the top. They're very like Italian looking to me. Yeah. Very European. So how much are these? I told you I don't know. I don't know how oh. much you paid for. 1995. Them. All three have sold. So somebody else was like, "Hey, I need a chair." They didn't even know that there was a bum crack. So bonus. Bum crack. We can't put these next to the statues of Jesus. They're here, we'll put it this way. Okay. <laughs> this was $3. This was $3. We don't pass on brass candlesticks at the store. Brass, anything really. You never pass on brass. No, ever. So this one is going to be, what's this say? $9.95. $9.95. And this $14 one is $14.95. And they were $3 each. Now, that said, just because they were both $3 does not mean that that is the market value that we should sell them at. I feel like we need to do a lesson on this because everybody always comments, I can't believe you're selling those items for so much when you bought them for the buck at the thrift store. That was a lot of words. I, did you hear my whiny voice? I heard the whiny voice. <laughs> it happens every week, and I just like to educate people a little bit. This, if I had found it for free in my grandma's basement, it's still worth $14.95. If I bought it for $8, it's still worth $14.95. So we we charge what the market will bear. So I didn't realize this until after I priced it, but underneath it used to be in number 23's antique booth. And what do you think it was? $14.98. So we have marked it down. Three cents. Three cents. Three cents savings. Boom. Right. Oh, super chat from Sally. Love the idea of renovating a vintage trailer. Have a great time on your travels. Thanks, Sally. Well, thank you, Sally. We thought we might renovate because the trailer that we bought is 30 years old, the one that we have now, our camper. And I thought about renovating that, but it's really just not big enough for my family. It's my mom wouldn't have anywhere to stay. So we just, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I already showed that. I already showed that. Showed those things. I think we're almost done. Boxwood wreath. 75 cents. It what? does. It does. It looks like it faced. It was probably on a door. I actually like it because I feel like this side is fall, so you could hang this side out in the fall, and then for Christmas, yeah, boom, done. It's, it's going to be twelve ninety five. How much did you pay for that? Seventy five cents. Is that real? It's very soft. It is. No, uh, I mean it's a fake. No, it's it's preserved boxwood, so it's been like treated. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm like ninety nine point nine. Yeah, see no, how is, it's see is how this it's, for holding your spoon. What is this? I have zero clue. I don't even know what I named that. If I named it something weird because I was like, I don't know what that is. It's like a small copper dish, but then it's got like this little foot so it stands up fine. And that's got like a tin handle that's been hammered. It says Sweden on the handle. So if you know what this was for or what its design is for, it looks like it could be a measuring cup, but then it's got this big lip on the top of it. It looks like a mold. Oh, you might be right. I probably so you could it holds it level and then you could grab it easy and you could be right. I named it the copper wall hanger thingy. And I paid how much for it? It was 75 cents. And, and I'm worse. selling it to you for $9.95, but I should change the name to it's probably a mold. <laughs> All right, these are out of Jamie's stash. I think they go over candles or something, something like that, small bottles. And then they sit down on the bottom, kind of like a base on those. Or yeah, you can hang them for small little wreaths. I actually like them on the backs of um, chairs or like on a little window or whatever. These are from my own personal stash. I bought them wholesale 4,000 years ago. And we used to carry them in the shop. But I have these two left. Can't get them anymore. And um, yeah. So how much are they each? Five ninety five. Five ninety five. Okay, I think, okay, we have two more oh, things to show. Kai says butter mold. We Scandinavian oh. people love our butter. Oh, shoot. I hope as, we could save it for Don't the cow. Get rid of it. We, we, we can mold the cow butter and some other things. Do you guys want to see Zeb's cow? He's got to go up and fix the camera anyways. All right, I'll show you my cow. So, her name is Buttercup. I have paid for her. 
but then I gave them some extra money to keep her until we get back from England and France because I'm not going to leave a, a cow we just got. And here, then we have to like train the kids and have somebody like, hey, milk this cow for 11 days. We have people think that we're wild and crazy, but Zeb and I have been talking about getting a cow for probably what, like a year? Easy. And our, we have some land that our neighbor is letting us put the cow on next to the shop. Let's see if this picture will show up. There's and Buttercup. her name is Buttercup. Isn't now, she cute? You go crazy because you can see her ribs. She is a jersey. I could feed her a bale of hay a day and she would still look like this because if you feed her more, she just makes more creamier milk. And that's the rules of how she's bred. <laughs> she, she can't help it. She's a sweetheart. She was really nice. They had three dogs running all over, chasing sticks and barking. And, you know, she just didn't even care. She was eating the grass. She was by and she loves to give kisses. She is. Um, she is Zeb's cow, and I told him that I will make him all the butter uh, and ice cream and cheese he can eat if he's in charge of milking her. So we got to buy a milking machine. We got to get her pen set up, and then as soon as we get back from Europe, we'll go pick her up. She currently lives she's in. She's in. She's in milk right now. She had a calf in January, um, but she's in milk, and she uh, she gives about a gallon a day because they're down to milking her once a day right now, which is perfect. Um, we might, I might feed her more, uh, rich feed. They kind of got her on grass right now and she'll probably produce more milk. Once we she's a medium cow, so feed. she's not huge. She's 700 pounds, which is yeah. still pretty big. Yeah. She's, she's on the upper end of medium, but you know, so we're, we're excited. I'm excited. I, I love all the things farming it takes me back to my youth. Um, all right, this there is a go. cutting board that Harrington made. This is from salvage wood from when we cleared out the ceiling here at farmhouse. So it's from my basement. I have it's like one five. of the few, <laughs> few left yeah, I have that like we have. Most of the salvage wood that we made things out of is gone and sold. And, and this is like your chance to scoop up a little piece of farmhouse. Zeb has not sanded or oiled it yet. So we will do that. But legit, I'm going to tell you, I have like five cutting boards sitting on the basement waiting. We need to get sanded they were for you and i never finished yours yeah it's fine <laughs> we finished the ones we sold and i'm like i don't really have space for five of them so i was like i can part with this charcuterie board um and it'll be 49.95 it does need sanded and some finished work on the handle yeah there. we're gonna sand it all up and we're gonna put oil on it that's food safe and then ship it along and maybe when we do that one we'll do one of mine <laughs> you have a really big one that they keep meaning I know. to replace Because we have this Ikea one back there, and I legit have a really cool one. And it's, it's big, and it's like one of the few pieces of big lumber I got out of here. Okay. Maybe says have... that, that Buttercup is cute. Yeah, Caitlin says she remembers me talking about cows like two years ago. All right, so, I'm going to raise up the camera so you can see the full main action on this. This is a vintage rocking horse. I would not put a child on it. It's not that it's not sturdy. It's just old it's and a little slittery. Um, but I think she's adorable. This is one of those things. If you sell online, you have to remember, this is going to take a large box. My website will not charge enough for the amount of shipping that this is going to cost, especially with the current upcharges coming from the post office. Um, so in the shop, I paid $5 for her. In the shop, I'll sell it for probably like $49.95, but online, she's $139.95 to make up for the fact she should going to cost a small fortune to ship. But I could not leave this behind i told zeb i'd really love to take a picture of it and get measurements and make a pattern to make some um for i, I have a few pieces the CNC could cut out every single one of those pieces within probably 10 minutes once i got it programmed deborah says you've been talking about a cow for a while yeah and uh yeah because my daughter has also wanted a cow for two years too yeah i think it's about the time that i started getting all the chickens i just never really found a way and we have really great um, neighbors next door to the our church shop, and they said, "Sure, as long as you clean up after it, and they don't use half their yard, and if they have a big like half acre lot, like as long as you um, clean up after her and milk her, go you can get you can get a milking cow." Anyways, so it's like it, so she's. They told me yesterday that it was a for sure go ahead, and Zeb bought a cow today. I don't mess around. I don't know if you know this. Angie's going to be excited. She loves cows, and Buttercup is very, very sweet. So we're excited. We feel really blessed to be able to have this opportunity. And we go through a lot of milk to the tune of like eight 
got gallons of milk sometimes a week. Well, and since I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's, we've been trying to buy organic corn yeah. milk, which is better for me. And hopefully it helps with Eliza because she's got A2 milk. So hopefully it helps with Eliza's lactose intolerance. We want to try that out too and see how she does with that. <laughs> and Kai says, and now a horse. Odelia would love us to get a horse, but that's not happening. We don't have that kind of space. But there are so... On, in the back, if you guys ever come to the shop, we keep our sheep and chickens in the back. They have like a huge pen, like it's very lots of space to hang out in. And then there's they're our neighbors. Free they're almost free. I mean, really, they are free range because it's a large area. And then um, there's a there are neighbors where we're going to put the cow. And then next to the cow, there's horses. So even though we live in the city, old Lehigh is very agricultural and it's not like abnormal. To have a cow or whatever on your property. You, I brought you that, but I didn't bring you one brush. Kai you says cow patties are great for growing your veggies. We totally plan on using it and we'll probably share it with all of our neighbors. In fact, our dinner party we had tonight was our bishop and his wife, and then our next door neighbors were over here. And um, we plan on sharing because everybody has a garden. We were all talking about our gardens and canning, and it was super fun. Bishop's wife canned 130 quarts of applesauce. Oh, I know. <laughs> 130 quarts. I thought I was canning. She next level. All right. Um, do we have a drop cloth I'm or looking for something? I took it, I cleaned it all out of here. Yeah, we had to clean up the joint because you're just gonna get some papers. Yeah. Yeah, I cleaned it all out of here because we had dinner coming. I think I'll paint this. When you got dinner guests, you gotta clean up your junk. Yeah, on top of that, in between the games, we went and bought a cow and then we came back and got dinner really real fast. So it's been a busy day. <laughs> I made shepherd's pie and we made that in between the two football games in like 30 to 30 seconds that we had and it was a big hit because they even got seconds well we almost forgot that there was dinner tonight yeah i, think so I was like jamie is tonight the dinner because the ward does it they split up like the ward is the, like it's like called the adult dinners it's like our ward is a congregation of like 300 to 400 people somewhere in there um and all the adults had this plan to get together and they split us up and we volunteered to be a host house and so we didn't know who was coming until a week ago and so we we were supposed to assign out dinners and things and i'm like jamie isn't that tomorrow and we hadn't assigned anything out for people to bring stuff and so jamie's like i'll just make it all so we do sell somebody asked if we sell this sweatshirt so we do sell the farmerish farmerish sweatshirts we have two different kind of styles. They're slightly different shades. I think some's plus size, some's regular. And then we carry this shirt. If you want a t-shirt, we have it in like a teal color. So maybe Caitlin can drop the links to that. Um, Caitlin says, did we go to the game and say, hey, we bought a cow. So we actually bought it after the last game, just before the dinner party. And we did have to tell his coach because they like to talk to him after that. Well, they won. It was like a big win. It was a yeah. tight game until the fourth quarter. I had to tell him when they were talking to him. I was like, hey, coach, I got to go buy a cow. Can I take Jack? He's like, sure, sure, take Jack. So we had to rush out of there. I saw my friend Mel. Her boy was on the other team they were playing. And she's like, oh, my. I think she was not surprised that uh, I was buying a cow because that's just how it is. You just never know. You only live once, right? Okay. Hey, well, thanks, Caitlin. She dropped the link for the sweatshirts and for the t-shirt that says farmerish. And I think this definitely applies to me because I, some days I just want to sell everything and go live out in the middle of nowhere and be a farmer. And other days, most days I'm enjoying the conveniences of living in the city. All right. So I'm going to bounce this off the live stream right now because we have like 850 people watching. Um, so we've been getting asked a lot. We, we kind of have shifted to doing more of like a lifestyle thing where a lot of the stories and the short form content, we do a lot of painting, thrifting, but we also are showing like the behind the scenes of our business more, the canning, the gardening, having the animals, um, things like that. And I'm, we have another channel set up where we were going to put just strictly DIYs. But I'm thinking over there is where we might, maybe in the new year, it might be a ways out. But if you're interested in the idea of like our recipes, the things we're experimenting with, with my Hashimoto's, um, you know, getting the cow and the health benefits of that versus like buying milk, um, the chickens, eggs, all that sort of thing, the gardening and the canning. Um, I'm thinking of shifting that channel, renaming it and taking all those DIY videos off of it. 
and because a lot of you have already subscribed to it over it's there. called jamie and zeb isn't it yeah it's called jamie and zeb diys or something like that i don't know but <laughs> we, we i don't even remember what's called i haven't uploaded a video in like three months over hold there. on i'm going to pause you real quick if you want to purchase this it's diy's copper patina and we sell it at jamierayvintage.com and zeb is using skeleton key Yes. So I'm just letting you know because if you need some, if you have some thrift store stuff that's been kicking around in your garage or a closet or on a shelf or in the corner of your living room because you no longer have room in your garage or on your shelf, um, these are some great products to DIY them. But anyway, I, so I was just I was thinking of the other day. I'm like, well, we kind of incorporated it into this channel, and we probably wouldn't take it all the way off. Except, of this, can you see what size this is? But we're not really doing. I think it's an XL it's an because XL. it's pretty big. But we're not so, really doing like specific things with I would like say recipes yes. and stuff like that. So I think we might actually shift and do some of that over there on that other channel for people that are interested in that and leave this more of like a DIY with some cow pictures sprinkled in. So this this is true to size. This is an extra large. It is big on me. Um, the new I Love Junk sweatshirts are like a unisex, and these are women's. And the large in the I Love Junk is about the same size as the extra large in this, but that's just because this is a women's size sweatshirt. And the I Love Junk, I would say, is more of like a men's or a unisex size. So, but yeah, it's an extra large. Yeah, and I'm like a solid 165 on pounds, maybe 167 on a good day. And then 5'4 and a size C cup, just to give you an idea. I'm an athletic 165, right? Right. Right. You always seem real small to me. I could probably wear a medium in this, but I like my sweatshirts baggy. The copper patina lasts a long time. It's a great buy. Yeah, so we've only dipped into maybe three. This is like the third one ever, and we use it all the time because it's thin, but might, it has good coverage. We might coverage. be on the fourth. We burned through a couple of them this summer. Yeah, I used, I've been using it a lot for my, like, Christmas stuff because I decorate my Christmas tree with copper and not real copper, but, and I love this paint. So I just paint everything with it. Larissa is super sweet. Oh, Rosanna. She was who we missed today when we were at football games. Yes. Oh. Larissa is a doll. We love her. We have Larissa Hopefully you and still Maria. had fun in the shop, even though we weren't able to come meet you. We actually were not expecting the nine o'clock game. We didn't think that Redrick had a game and then he ended up playing, having the last game of the season. And then Jack's game, we had to rush across yeah. town to his game. Funny story about that. <laughs> I thought they were both in Orem. Turns out Redrick's was in Saratoga Springs. So we were late to Redrick's game. There must have been, so can you give me a butter knife? There's like a styrofoam ball here. And we show up like 10 minutes early to Redrick's game and there's nobody there. And I look it up and I'm like, oh, Zeb, it's in Saratoga, which is like 25 minutes away. Yes. Yeah, Luckily, he wasn't mad. Pretty close to us where we live. <laughs> Zeb expects me to occasionally screw things up. Yeah, he wasn't. That's what I said. You weren't mad. He just laughed and then we drove to Orem or to Saratoga. I do struggle with being late to things. And if, if uh, I it was going to be upset about something, like, that might have triggered me because <laughs> being late to stuff, I don't know why it like gets me going. But it wasn't intentional. But yeah, it wasn't her fault. She just thought we were both the game. I was like, sweet, both the games are warm. We're gonna catch lunch in between games. It'll be perfect. Nope, it was not. So we like it was just crazy. Anyways, um, let's see. I would love to hear about Hashimoto's with recipes with follow both channels. Um, let's see. Where is the red and white enamel thing? The bucket? Let's see that. I gotta make sure. That's a paper inside. There's a lot of details. Whenever I'm painting like little things like this nativity, I always use an artist to brush because it gets in all the details. It's much better than a big brush. I think I'm gonna do, it's got pretty good coverage, but I think I'm gonna wind up doing two coats just to make sure it's perfect. I think I'm going to get some paint on this table, but it'll be on the island here, but it'll be okay. Get goats next. Goats are either, so I've done a lot of research and goats are either loud or they jump fences or they stink. Here's like the more thing so than also, we're planning on making butter and to get butter from goat's milk is pretty hard because it's not, it's like already homogenized, meaning the cream is mixed with the, the uh, lighter liquids. Whereas like a cow, the cream rises to the top and you can just you know use that to make all your delicious butters and other creams and ice creams and whatever else you're going to do with that 
Um, so that's why we decided to go with a cow because I did really seriously we also don't, getting like three or four goats and I don't like that. goats milk. It's okay. I love cow's milk. Like there's I mean, both there's there's benefits to both. Like there's two schools of uh, homesteaders out there because I've done I mean I've milked quite a few cows. I've only milked a goat once. My uncle had goats when they lived in Arizona and we I helped them out. They still have goats actually. Um but just you don't have to have a milking stand to milk her. This this particular cow has been milked by hand quite a bit and on a machine, and she does well with both and doesn't kick the bucket. He says he does hobble her every now and then if she's like excited about something going on or if she runs out of grain, she gets a little kicky. But oh, if she's not running out of grain, we'll be all right. Keep that woman fed. All right, I think I got this. I'm gonna turn. I guess I could just put the paper. Goats are hard work. Goats get their heads stuck in the fence too. They are rascals. They are funny. Marie I mean, says, "Are you gonna keep this channel?" Yes, I would never get rid of. Oh no, yeah, magic. we're gonna keep doing DIYs. Like this is the main thing we're gonna be doing, and we might do a video or two over there a week. Is maybe. Brenda still on here? Brenda's like my like case study for her and Carl were going to get out of the business and guess what they still do? <laughs> they buy junk and they sell junk. Like once you do it, it's like, it's a thing. You, it's, you don't, you don't leave it. Maybe you change pace, do it a little differently, but, and I am always going to be into painting and decorating and like, that's my jam. I just, I have a lots of interests. So in the future moving forward, especially as the kids are getting older, we would love to get into doing more like Airbnb makeovers where we find like old crusty buildings and turn them into something cool and then use the furniture that we find and the decor that we find all over the place to furnish them. Cooper's on here, he's piling them. Cooper says his goats are easy, they're just fat and sit there. Are they like our sheep? Is that the secret? You just gotta feed them till they- Is that like our them? sheep, Cooper? Because our Han and Chewy are just that and mostly just sit there. And they do protect the chickens. I feel like there are certain things that stay out of the chicken coop because Han and Chewy are there. But yeah, we like having a, a gallon of milk a day is really no big deal. Like we won't have extra milk if no. we don't have a gallon a day. Well, and she's she's on the back end. Um, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed they've been feeding her a lot of grass and stuff. Because they they have also the people we bought her from also have goats and they've been doing more with the goat's milk than they have with the cow's milk, um, and so they were getting ready to basically dry her out and but they're milking her to just keep her going because her dad his dad was milking her actually, um, but because they were planning on selling her so they wanted her to be in milk still but she will probably have another calf sometime next year we'll we'll get her bread here in the next month or so. And then he said when she, right after she had her calf, she was given like three milks, three gallons of milk a day, so. So I blame, on the BBC, there's a show called The Farm Life. It's a great show. It is so this good. This Farming Life, I think This is what Farming it's Life, yeah. And we have been watching it for quite a while and it's like my favorite thing. And so, it's, I, it's one of those things like, why do you have sheep? Because nobody told me no. Why Plus, is that by a cow? Because nobody told him no. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Plus bonus, we get a calf every year from her. Um, and then uh, if we if we get like a little bull, we can have something for meat. Or if we get a little heifer, then we can either keep her or sell her. What is the flour you're using for Zeb? We use Kabut. It's actually right there. Look, I'm using my paintbrush to point. We get it from the Food Nanny. There's a few different places you can get it from. It is not gluten-free, but Zeb seems to tolerate it well. He if you still have a has gluten, to control himself. So Hashimoto's, it's not a gluten allergy, but glutens cause inflammation, which kind of flare up the Hashimoto's. And then when that happens, it basically attacks my thyroid glands, and they're already almost gone. So I'm trying to control the flare-ups with diet. Yeah. There you go. So, I still have to take my uh, thyroid medication because my thyroid is almost gone. It's been going for a while. So I, he, we use it in place of flour. So I could make pie crust. I make kamut bread. Um, I make 
well, I don't know what else do we make with it. Like anything, gravy. It, it's I just made German pancakes. Yeah, German morning. pancakes. We he still has to be careful eggs. because Zeb loves himself some pancakes. And I'm like, Zeb, I know you can tolerate the kumut, but you still can't eat like eight of them. No, and I shouldn't. It doesn't, it doesn't end well. It does disrupt my system pretty badly since I haven't been eating any bread or and, and almost no sugars that are processed. Kai says a couple of YouTube gals built and opened up Airbnb cottages, the White Cottage Company and Parisian Farm Girl. We actually will eventually Airbnb the cottage behind the church. My oldest boy lives there now. Um, and so someday he'll grow up and move out. And then I well, plan he's going on, back to college, so that might come sooner than yeah, later. Yeah, I plan on gutting it and turning it into like an English style cottage. And then people can stay there. And I think it'll be fun because there's like the garden, there's the chickens, there's a the sheep, there's a the cow. I mean, I guess if you don't like farm animals, it might not be a place for you. But it'll be a fun. Shoot, week. part of the experience, I'm going to be like, hey. Part of the you, Airbnb can experience. Can you feed the sheep in the morning? That's part of your <laughs> Airbnb checkout chore. <laughs> Uh, what camera do you guys film videos? Uh, we use our Canon camera for live videos like this, and Canon sometimes R6. Canon R6, and then sometimes we use our iPhone 13s. Soon to be iPhone 14s, those so are coming out pretty quick. Um, Caitlin dropped the link to Zeb's urn. So how are you going to finish that? I actually think some I'm copper gonna, would be really I'm pretty. I'm going to copper on it in the details. I'm not going to distress it, and then I'm going to let when I wax it, I'm going to white wax it, and then when I rub that back, I'm going to let whatever distresses off. Just Do you want me to here. copper the details? I can't find the wax. wax. So yeah, can you copper the details for me? Just like a, a dry brush over the top. Yes, I can do that. Yeah, we don't have a rooster. We just have hens. No, but I, we may get one. Because Deb wants chicks. loves chickens and I need to rotate the birds because our bantams have molted now and they're not laying much. They are just fine. They're just, oh. They do sit on all the eggs. They do. So I'm just lightly brushing over the top of this detail here. And it kind of looks like I've two-toned it, but really this is the lazy girl way to two-tone. I'm just dry brushing it almost. And then I'm going to hit this top part here. Katie, are we what? Real out of wax? No. I mean, you might have to put your mom eyes on it. I don't know. Maybe you'll have to white. Well, you could dry brush with white in the areas that I'm not dry brushing with copper. Thanks, Caitlin. She just dropped uh, the link to the copper nativity. <laughs> <laughs> Zeb, so what are the ideas on the contractor license? Yes, and Cooper, are you all in helping? Cooper is busy. He plays varsity football. He works when he's not playing football. He's going to school to be a CNA. He's, he's, he's a senior enrolled. in high school. He's make, it's what's called dual enrollment. Our high school has a They program have 452 where... animals over on their farm. Yeah. They have like multiple acres. So he's going to graduate high school with a, his CNA certificate and I think an associate's. He does not want to get associates. drugged into this mess. No. I just have white swan over here and then I'll go clear wax over that. I'm, just to clear wax. Okay. I'm almost done dry brushing. Goat's milk is closest to human mothers. My daughter could only drink goat's milk. I. I don't doubt it. I've heard lots of really good things about it. And I like soap. Although I think you can make soap with cow's milk, can't you? You just need to add that. I forgot what I was going to say. I was talking about chickens. Oh, you want to have a rooster so we can get baby chicks and so yeah, we can so eat we, chicks? No, we're going to eat the chicks. We'll eat chickens. But the bantam, that was all I remember what I was going to say. So I didn't collect eggs last night. We were busy and I didn't get over to collect them. I try to collect them every day because when you have as many chickens as we have, inevitably one will break one open. They get cannibalistic. They can get cannibalistic. So I try to pull the eggs out every day. So I didn't pull the eggs out last night, but there was no egg eating happening because there were four bantams. And they had every single egg. There were like 20 eggs in there. Did they gather them? And they were so many. Yeah, they were so many that they were like coming out from underneath these bantam heads. Because your bantam heads. There's hens, like, there's no eggs here. Your you bantam heads eggs. will get real broody. At least ours do. And they will hatch anything you put under them. Anyway, I was pulling them out from one bird. And I, I moved the birds and I was pulling them out of the eggs. And then I moved another bird. And I had just set them out on the edge of the coop because I was going to grab them and put them in my shirt and haul them off. And while I was grabbing these eggs, 
the chicken over here was like scooching all the eggs back into the nesting box and like trying to get back on top of them. I had to do it like three times. Eventually I had to just like take the eggs <laughs> and set them somewhere else because they kept pushing them back underneath. You didn't use your shirt like I did? I did. I had to use my shirt. That's so funny. Cooper just did a flexing emoji. Cooper is actually the FFA vice president, so he does love himself some animals. Mama Bear Blue says, have a great time in France. We just returned from there in England. We came back a few weeks ago with my I mom and dad. I loved all your stories. It made me Can't really wait to see what you guys come back with. I watched all her stories and her shorts. She did a bunch of short videos on it. There are almost dry. How many kids do we have? We have five children. Harrington, Odelia, Eliza, Jack. Five Hunter. that we claim. We feed the whole neighborhood some weeks. Yes, that is true. So <laughs> we do go through a lot of food, but we live relatively like not that far from the high school. I mean, not like right in their backyard, but they, close enough they can drive here. So we have a lot of teenagers that come for lunch. Eliza has a huge group of friends and also boys, even though she doesn't date, she has a bunch of guy friends in her group of friends and they eat quite a bit. And then, you know, when you have a pool, it seems like in the summer, you always got to feed a ton of people. So we go through a lot of food. Is the porcelain chicken in your shop repaired on the tail? I don't know. We've which... had a few, so that's, I'd, I'd have to check and actually go find the chicken you're talking about. Can you, you know what? And they always break on the tail because that part's like thin and pokes out. Email info at jamierayvintage.com and make sure that Jamie is just J-A-M-I and tell Caitlin which chicken you're asking about and then we can look on Monday. I don't want to forget. Cooper says I'm not, he's not against working for us. My kids know we're slave drivers. Must be standing in line or something. I know. We're on their way home. Cooper, are you guys on your way home yet? He sent me some pictures of him and Jack. I don't know what ride it was on, but part of it was like after the ride had started. <laughs> Jack's face is like, e. <laughs> All right, I think this is good. I've got good coverage on this. What do you guys think of my nativity now? I don't like oh, I it. see if it's looking much can. better. All right, so on this, I started out with the yellow metal tin, the DIY paint sticks, super, super good to metal. And then we, we, Jamie came in and hit it with kind of a dry brush with the pennies from heaven, which is the copper patina that she's using here. And now I've just got DIY paint in white swan, which is the clay base, not to be confused with the cottage colors. And I'm just kind of hitting the whole surface and softening up that copper a little bit. And then I'm going to come in and clear wax this whole thing. And I should get like a little bit of a distressing effect since none of this is cured up when I clear wax and buff that. This is going to either get white wax or dark wax. I haven't decided. Um, they're in the line of McDonald's. Odelia, if you're still watching, or Cooper, would you guys text Eliza and see if she needs you to pick her up? I think she's at Merrill's. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, let's see if there's any questions. Try almond flour. I love it. I'll never go back to wheat. We did try almond flour. It doesn't work the same, especially in, like, leavened breads. Um... I mean, we definitely cook some tasty recipes with it, but I feel like it's more leaning, lends itself to like crackers. You've got some white on my copper. I'll actually like it. No, I'm, I'm going to clear wax the whole thing, and it's all going to come back a little bit. We might even get back to the yellow. Are you going to dry brush the opposite direction or all the same direction? No, I'm, I'm hitting opposite now. Do the kids have to be a certain age before they're allowed to date? Yeah, 16. We try to, you know, it's like a guideline, like, before 16, you're not going to really, I don't know. I think like before 16, you're probably not going to find your soulmate at 13 years old. Just saying. It's it's rare. Although I started dating Jamie in high school at 17, so it's hard to say. Yeah, but I just feel like they need to be a little bit mature. We're okay with like group things. Like it's fine if Eliza is over and hanging out with a bunch of her friends in a group. I don't care if it's mixed gender. I feel like they need to learn how to be around each other. But 16, Odelia turned 16. And other than like a, the occasional dance date, she didn't really date much. I mean, by the time they're 16, they can drive. They can take themselves yeah. out to go places and do things. Before then, I'm like the show. Like, listen, I ain't driving while you're sitting back there with your date. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, clear wax going on here. That's already dry because that was hot from heat bending it. What color wax to be used before black wax? Clear wax, Kim. We always use clear before black. So that way you have a little bit more control with your black wax. Seb, can you fix the camera? Oh, yeah, we've been on an hour. All right, I'll hurry to finish my project up. So uh, Cynthia started dating her husband when she was 14, and they've oh, been together 51 job, years. Cynthia. My mom got married See, at 15, and they were married 67. See, I don't want to say that there's exceptions to the rules. I just, mo it's not likely. I'm going to add a little <laughs> copper back. Yeah, it's my sister Deborah's birthday. Day. Happy birthday, One Deborah. more year till Medicare. Woot, woot. Kim says thanks. <laughs> She said that. It was not me. I'm not oh. teasing her. It's a very glorious occasion. All right, so clear wax coming on in here. This is a pretty stiff wax brush. It's a very thick synthetic bristle. So I'm hoping it really just kind of brings that back a little bit. And then I'm going to look at me either like a rag or a towel. Like this way. Oh, let me see probably, probably a rag would be best. Why is Harrington State Championship green in the junk drawer? He left it here, and that's where I keep it because he keeps forgetting it. I don't have a rag, but I got a ring. You grab one of those. They're really cool rings. They're going to get another one this year. They are going to get another one. I know, Cooper. I know we're not allowed to talk about it. Yeah, but... we can't jinx it. All right. They're 9 and 0. They're 9 and 0. They're yeah, 9 and 0. All right, here. Yeah. All right, almost done applying the wax here. Just a couple spots. <laughs> Renee says, you get our age, we get goals. Hey, Medicare is a solid goal. I just hope that Medicare exists when I'm that age. Getting closer, I turn 40. Does clear wax need to be used before white wax? Um, I don't really worry about it as much. If you want more control over the white wax, then yes. But I actually usually like it all over, so I don't mind if it like affects the paint everywhere, if that makes sense. Whereas like dark wax, if you don't clear wax first, it just looks poopy. Where white wax just makes it look oxidized. So I guess it depends. If you want white wax to be more controlled, then I would say yes, clear wax first. But if you white wax, just make sure that you buff it right away. Okay, because none of this is cured, I just heat gunned it enough, dry enough to put the next layer on. I am getting some of that yellow back. I'm getting the copper back um, where I dry brushed it. I'm getting some of the dark back too. So this is now... <laughs> Cooper, just tell Eliza that that is all fine. She needs to be home by 11. I got a whole rundown here. Funny story. Did we so, get a super chat? We did get a super chat. Butch Smith says, have fun junking on your trip. Thanks, Butch. I appreciate that. We'll get something fun with that. We need to actually order. Hopefully, it's not too late. Shoot, we didn't order pounds or euros. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh, I freaking hate scotch tape. Where's my... Sorry, I shouldn't have said freaking. It's not a nice word. But don't put scotch tape on your decor. We can't see it. Why? I don't know why it's on stuff. All right, so funny story about Eliza and Coop. So Eliza is my middle daughter. Cooper has her number because one time he was needing to get into the house when we weren't here. And so I gave him Eliza's number. He was like leaving a surprise for Odelia. Anyways, I digress. The other day, Odelia, I'm not saying she ignored Cooper's call, but she was doing something and she didn't answer it. And he was buying a flannel. So he FaceTimed Eliza to see if the flannel was cool. I don't know what the final verdict was, but I thought it was pretty funny. Oh, Annie loves the plaid scarf. Thanks again. I'm glad that got shipped to you. The one from Saturday? Mm -hmm. That's already there? Yeah, the girls have been on it. Wow. I think they're pretty good okay. shipping. All right, I think we're done. Um, I like it. I'll show this. You tell them where to find all the stuff, and we'll see you guys probably Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to get another video up. Um, we will have a live next Saturday, even though we're going to be out of the country. We're going to pre-record that. And then the week after that, I'm not sure. We'll let you know. 
But if you want to buy these pain products or any of our junk, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. Yeah, I want. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Have a good evening. They say much improved. Thank you, Cynthia.